So how do you interpret a gel once you have the results? This is a practice gel. Um, we're using dyes for this one, assuming that. And we have six wells. And in well A, we've got banana. In B, we've got grape. C, orange. D, cherry. E is a red mixture. And F is, it just says dye mixture. Now, what you got to look at first is look at where the negative electrode was when you ran it and where the positive electrode is. Now, remember, opposites attract. So any dyes that migrated towards the negative, that means that these dyes that moved from the well to the negative side, this one, this one, this one, and this one, all of those must have a positive charge. And the dyes that migrated from the wells towards the positive electrode, those all must have a negative charge. Now, so banana moved a little bit. What does that mean about its size? Well, it took a long time to move. So that must mean that it's a pretty big molecule. It doesn't easily travel. Um, B and, well, let's just look at B right now. B moved a little bit more than A, although it's moving in the other direction. So B is still, a you know, maybe a, a big molecule, but not quite as big as, as A. A appears to be the biggest. Okay. Uh, compare B and C. C of the positive dyes is the smallest. Why? Because it moved the farthest. Okay. Let's look at D. D is cherry. It moved really far. It's a negative molecule because if you can see, remember, it's moving to the positive. So this negative molecule moved really far. Now E is a red mixture. So E has what in it? Well, it's at the same level as this one. So that must mean that C is in this mixture. It's at the exact same place. So we know that orange is in this red mixture. And what else is in the red mixture? Well, this one is at the exact same place as D. So orange and cherry are in well E. E is a red mixture, if you look at your list. So your job is to figure out, well, what is in that mixture? And you do that by looking at how far the molecules got. And these two are the same molecule. These two are the same molecule. So now let's look at F. Okay, F is a dye mixture just in general. What's in it? So we've got a, a mark here, here, and here. So tell me what is in the dye mixture. Well, it looks like B is in it. What is B? Grape. So the F mixture, the dye mixture, has grape and banana and, what's D? Cherry. So grape, um, grape, banana, and cherry. So that's how you interpret a gel. These moved pretty fast. They got really far. This guy moved really, took it a really long time, didn't go very far. So this is a very large molecule. These that got this far, these are the fastest. They're the smallest. They can weave through the gel very easily, so they moved fast. That means they are very small molecules. The smaller the molecule, the further the distance. These guys 
this one right here, not a very big distance means it's a very large, long molecule. All right, that's how you interpret a gel.